soaps up. Scott Evans, who plays Oliver Fish, gave his first ever interview to AfterElton.com. Spoiler alert, we're about to find out that his character was involved in a gay relationship with Kyle Lewis in college. In this interview, the actor talks about how he reacted to the storyline, as well as he himself being gay and coming out to his family, including his brother, actor Chris Evans, from the movie Fantastic Four. He says, quote, I don't think I ever really had a thought process about being an out actor. I came out when I was 19 years old, and then I became an actor. I didn't want to be one of those people who goes back into the closet and tries to hide because I knew it would come out. With the success of my brother, I didn't feel it was necessary to hide it once I come out. I'm an out person as opposed to an out actor, I suppose. I like Fish, and I like that they're doing more with this character, gay or straight. Actor Terrell Tilford joins the cast of One Life as Dr. Greg Evans next week. More spoilers. He's here to help Matthew walk again, and he's also here to romance Rachel Gannon away from his brother, brother Sean. Finally, a good storyline for Rachel. You'll be seeing another new face along with Tilford, and that's actress Kira Giovanni, who will be playing the role of Dr. Wright. Unfortunately, we don't have a photo of the actress at this time. Presumably, she'll be conferring with Dr. Evans on a treatment plan for Matthew. It's one of the actress's first gigs ever, and certainly her first in daytime, so we welcome her. Last week, we reported that actress Amanda Seton of Gossip Girl fame would be taking on the role of a Vegas stripper named Summer, appearing in Landview this August. According to Soaps.com, ABC has changed the name of Summer to Kimberly Andrews. Maybe Summer is her stripper name and Kimberly is her real name? See you tomorrow with Scene of the Week. Get Sarah, are you all right? Still not talking to you. Have you forgotten how to use a, a, a doorbell, or what's going on here? I know how to use a doorbell, Todd. I was using it downstairs, but you obviously didn't hear me because you were too busy settling in your house guest in the Marty Saybrook suite. She doesn't get around very well, so... Yeah, we're all too familiar with your work with incapacitated victims. I'm not a victim. Thank you very much. She's just staying until she gets better. Oh, um, is that what this is? What this is, is none of your damn business. Well, I saw the two of you the other night with um, our boys downstairs eating popcorn, watching television, and like one big old happy family. Is that a fact? Mm hmm And how did you happen to see that? Were you stalking me? I couldn't be happier for you, for all of us. Would you like to hold her? I would love to. I really would. I just... Honestly, I'm, I just stopped feeling, you know, I'm under the weather today. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe we should take her somewhere else. <clears throat> that might be a very good idea, you know. And uh, I promise you, when I'm feeling better, I'm going to shower her <laughs> with attention. <laughs> In the meantime, you know, maybe some toast would be a good oh, idea. Yeah. You want some orange juice with that, oh, too? Ooh, ooh. No. Okay. And what does that look? Daddy... Daddy tried to tell mommy the truth. Were you spying on me? Dr. Lord may not care about what her daughter does, but I care about you. Sex before marriage, it's not just a sin. It can make you a father years before you are ready. You aren't doing anything. You have a bright future ahead of you. The first member of our family to go to college. Do you want to give that up because of this little tramp? Langston is not a tramp. What do you call the girl who takes her room in a hotel so she can have sex? I love Langston. You live in my house. You do as I say. Is there a problem? No. No, everything's cool. My son is trying to do his job and this girl's making a nuisance of herself. Is this true? No. No, it's not. Langston is a member here. And my father isn't. That's how you talk about me? Truth. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're breaking your mother's heart. What? Nothing. Just that was kind of harsh. He called you a tramp. No, I know. But you had him thrown out of here. I mean, you still have to live with him, remember? How could I forget? 
break it to you, but I don't think your dad is getting used to us. No, I don't think so either. I don't want to wreck your relationship with your parents. Look, you won't. But I will. So this is how it's going to be? She's always going to think the worst of you. Kyle, you're awaiting trial for blackmail. Yeah, and my sister just died. I'm sorry for your loss. I just want to let you know I was getting my life back on track. Am I here? Just out for a run, Fish. I'm not breaking any laws. Yeah, not right now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're a real pal. I guess you didn't want to introduce us. Uh, you know, that's not really someone you want to know. Why not? He's just in a lot of trouble with the law right now. You sure that's all it is with you two? Who else knows who Shane's real donor is? Kyle Lewis. Oh, yeah! The lab tech who phoned up the first test results. Yeah, and he looked like Stacy was the donor. And he's a med student, and I think he's a with her. But do you think he will tell us who it is? Uh, great. Okay, but the thing is, if he's doing this for her, then she's got to have something on her, and that means we have something on her. Yeah, what if he doesn't care? What if he's loyal to Stacy? Why would he be loyal to Stacy? Well, God knows what she promised him. We can't risk him warning her to know everything. Because then she'll take off and we're back what we started with no dose for shame. Yeah. Yeah, Stacy does have a way of getting what she wants from the men. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. She and I have the same DNA. I know that I should accept it's over between Gigi and me. Just but... don't think about it right now. How? Think about something else. Think about um, how much fun we had this morning watching Shane and his concert. It has talent, doesn't it? See? You did enjoy yourself. Yeah, I did. You? A song. Kidding me? It's the best day ever. That's when my kid played a concert. By Paul Beckman, yeah, Paul Rainbow song with you created. Watching my nephew. It was how I always thought a family should be. It was like I belonged. And it's all thanks to you. June eighteenth, two thousand nine. And I don't know about you, but I really don't want Gigi to wreck it. No, me neither. So let's go do something. Let's let's go swimming. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, my pool's closed, so unless you want to jump in the Lantana River. Oh come on! There's got to be a place around here where some lounge chairs and pina coladas. Uh, uh, oh, there it is, isn't there? Back when I first moved here, <laughs> I used to sneak into the country club and charge everything somebody else's bill. Now you're talking. Let's go. Come on. This song is going to be called Let's Go. Using guitar chords G7 and D. One, two, three, let's go. Four, five, six, let's go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, let's go. Are you ready now? Oh, let's go. Ready now. Let's go. Ready now. Let's go. Are you ready? Let's go. Yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go We'll be having fun Yeah, you know Let's go, go, go Let's go, go, go Let's go, 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 go Oh, yeah 